Hello, buddy. Welcome back to Strategic Command, Paradox Game of Playing, the World at War game. The, it says August 30, 1940. France has not fallen yet, but it will pretty soon, I'm sure. We just need to take Bordeaux. Um, mm, mm, mm. Let's start moving down there first and foremost. Enemy contact. Okay, I don't think my planes can reach that far, no. Okay. How about we go down this way? Start working on them. Not much luck so far. Bring down these guys. Okay, these guys are pretty tough. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Let's um, move along. We got some armies here. Uh, we can bomb the guys in two and Shalong. Should be enough, and then tour. Okay, so let's see if we can take out the guys in Shalom. That was Shalom. Continue to move down. Nobody in Dijon. Let's take Dijon then. You can see guys in Lyon. Uh, then the guys in Tour. They might hold out. Let's get the paratroopers in there. Finish them off. Take two work. Okay, and then we have these guys. Just move them over there. Replenish. No, let's move them down here. Okay. Let's get some headquarters down this way. They can stay there, that's fine. Okay. Move to Shalom. Reinforce the fighters. As they have not been used this turn. Okay, so if the French does not uh, give up now, we will take Bordeaux in the coming turn. No doubt about that. Plenish here. Okay. So the Navy, we got Bismarck last turn. And it's fully upgraded. We have these guys, can they reach? One can actually reach Trondheim, so let's go there. And then get the other one into Navik. We will also get the submarine down here. Let's get some more troops in Oslo. And we still have 200 points left. This is probably where we uh, save them up because we can't get any ships for that amount anyway. Uh, Italians got 183. The 
So we could get naval warfare going. And then go for the naval weaponry after that. Just head into Africa. We need to replenish these guys. That's not possible. Okay, down here. And let's dig in in Macal. Replenish these back to full. And just get the. I don't know, the garrison. Where should that be? That's fine. Let's go to Japan. So, the plan is to take this one. Let's bomb it. For some reason, no escorts. Why do I not have any escorts here? They are on intercept missions. Let's put it on auto. See if I can move in there. <laughs> of course not. Okay. Uh, let's see if they move somebody else in there. Otherwise, okay, we can actually get these guys up to six. That means Wuhan will probably be okay. Then we have the usual attack down here. But we still can't get in there. No. We'll have some free attacks. Why can't I get this one up to full strength? It's in supply five. Let's get it back to the path that might help okay we have loads of garrisons that we need to ship across so let's see where do we need them uh, we need one in Mukden and one in Jeho one in Chenzin that's one two three one in Tingxian once the headquarter moves out of there that's four okay so let's transport One go in there. Here, transport. Do, 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 do. Well, we wanted to change Shin, so but it just can't reach. I could move into Port Arthur. No, I just. Uh, yeah, let's move it into Port Arthur then. And we have uh, some here they can't. This can transport. They can't reach. This can transport. Can't reach. This one cannot transport. Let's move it up here. Move this one into Tokyo. There. So that gives us one two three four extra up here that's pretty much what we need so let's check the center this is covered so we need one here one here okay let's send them into the center let's see can I get this Right across. Yes. Go there. 
and the three others will uh, move out next turn. Okay, so let's see we can... this one is now fully upgraded. Send it out here. This one is fully upgraded. Send it out here. This one is fully upgraded. Where do we want it? In the China Sea? Somewhere? And get this one to extra strength. This one needs to go to full strength. This one is fully upgraded. Cruiser is ready. Battleship needs to upgrade. Battleship needs to upgrade. This one. And this one. That still leaves us with 100 points, which we'll just save up. Alright, so the plan here is to continue down this road next turn. If they don't put anybody else in there, then take out this one. So that will give us, give us access to Wuhan. And we can move south from Wuhan and start working on Changsha, which will also bomb. Meanwhile, we have to start working on Changzhou. Maybe we can take out this one. Nope. Does not look like. And we cannot get it in there. Have to move the garrison further away, move it down this way, and then come up this way. But it's not going to work out. I have one more try, but that will just be one or two points. It's not enough. Let's do it anyway. Okay. These guys will stay put. This guy will there, there. Free shot on Nanning. Why not? Nanning is entrenched. So by attacking with the two cores, you can take the entrenchment down to zero. That's it for the turn. Let's go to the AI turn. Let's see if France surrenders. The prominent Chinese leader Wang Jingwei is willing to sign an agreement with us that could prove useful in return for allowing him to set up a reorganized national government of the Republic of China based on Nanjing. His government will have the ability to raise some Chinese units. These could be used to guard positions threatened by Chinese partisans, and raising them would be free up some of our troops for the frontline service. However, setting up this administration will cost us 25 points. Additionally, we will have to provide P uh, MPPs for the training and equipment of any Chinese units raised. Yes, we would like to allow that. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Ah. Oh. Partisan units. My armies in the area got repositioned far away from where they want it to be. <laughs> that was funny. Okay, we'll uh, look at that in detail when uh, when the turn is AI turn is over. So let's see what the uh, AI is up to here. Strengthening in Bordeaux. So they're not giving up yet. Replenishments in China.
still have the French fleet roaming around the Mediterranean. And now they have some bombers as well. Perhaps we should move the Italians in after all. I'm actually surprised the French keeps up hope at this point. Defenders in Wuhan are holding out. But just barely. Okay, some troop transport moved around the Horn of Africa, but I couldn't see where they were going. If this heck south of El Alamein is free, I might want to move the Italians forward. That would be a nice hex to have. Germany, Italy and Japan signed the Tripartite Pact. Okay. China is receiving supplies from French Indochina via the Hanoi Kunming Railway. Yet, we may be able to stop this if we exert some diplomatic pressure on the French authorities in Hanoi. This will cost us 25 points and the plan is to bribe and coerce the local authorities into allowing us to occupy the territory through which the railway runs. Would you therefore like to try using diplo diplomacy to prevent this transfer of military supplies to China through Indochina? Yeah, that's, that's okay. Von Lieb headquarter lands in Germany. We don't need it on the Western Front. We have enough uh, headquarters over there. So we'll just put it in... I don't know, where do we need it? We cannot put it too close to Russia. But I can't remember how close to Warsaw. I think it's within three hexes. So I think we can put it in Poznan. Okay. So France did not surrender. Mabamas can still not reach Bordeaux. And my armies cannot reach it either. I do have these guys can reach, these guys can reach, and these guys can reach. So we could surround it completely. Attack first, surround. Okay, this might actually work. Bordeaux has fallen. I think that should be enough for them to give up. But just in case, let's replenish the armor here. Um, move up to Nantes. Switch places. Take Nantes. What about Vichy? Move up to Lyon and move these guys down towards Vichy. No enemy units there, but I can't reach it anyway. Move the Italians up. We have enemy contact in Marseille. Just to put that little extra pressure on the uh, French, 
to coerce them into uh, actually surrendering. Okay, let's get these up to full. The paratroopers, we're gonna need them very soon. And we're not gonna attack the machinal line, so we'll spend some points getting the bombers up to full. If they're not already there. What is the upgradable item? That's naval weaponry. Not necessary right now. Okay. We also want to move the bombers closer to the channel. Okay. Oh, that was probably... <laughs> I didn't think about that. Right next to the enemy here. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, hopefully they will just surrender and nothing will happen. So, over here, can we move these guys? Yeah, we can move them to Christian Sand. Except that they will actually get into contact with the enemy. Really? Ah, oh, come on. I saw it. Can I undo that move? How do I undo a move? Because that's just stupid. Hotkeys. I've never undone a move, I think. Control Z. Doesn't work. Because I already I run it I ran into it. Okay. Ah oh, really. I thought because the unit was on the map, so I had a vision on it, I could move past it. But since it was a question mark, I could have moved this, the the uh, I could have moved that one out first. Then okay, we're gonna lose that ship. That's for sure. He's not gonna leave that alone. The whole British <laughs> Navy is at Scapa Flow, and we could get the submarine pass though if we want to to Bergen. Yeah, it's goodbye to Deutschland heavy cruiser. I'm sorry about that. That was a. Um, yeah, we can call it a slip up on my part. That's fine. We got 354 points. Um, command and control level one is about to finish. That's a lot that's about to finish. So we might want to save up those 354. I think that's a good idea. So the Italians. Let's... Uh, ah, I can't move in there. Hmm, okay. I thought I could. But nope, it's blocked. Fair enough. Down here. Everybody's at full strength and they are just digging in. So nothing to see here. Moving along to the Japan. Okay. So <laughs> the Nanjing area just uh, threw these two armies here out of the way. That's so stupid. <laughs> so stupid. So I can't get into this road now anyway. Ah oh, man, they can't even upgrade either. They landed on some field in China. Oh my god. Right, get them out onto the road here. Start moving these guys back. Okay. The bombers can reach up here. So let's do that. Now my escorts are working.
And is this one in range? No. Well, get it in range then. Uh, somewhere up here. Let's see if that's good enough for an attack here. Doesn't look like it. Maybe. I'll need a good shot with this one. That's not good enough. Alright, so let's replenish these guys instead. We're not going to get that hex anyway. Replenish in Wuhan. I would probably have taken a different approach if I was aware of this particular situation here. I'll get this one up to full. But I guess you live and you learn. Yeah, he would probably just replenish, um, but we'll see. Okay, so we need some garrisons into place. One there. One there. Let me just check it. So this one is good. This one is good. We need one in Beijing up here. And one in Shenzhen itself, or actually just next to it. There. So he will take care of these two, the other one will go there and take care of these two. So we're okay with garrisons in the, in the north. This one is perfectly placed there. Okay. So we'll send the rest of the garrison into the center. As soon as we get some space. We don't have a lot of space right now. Let's send this out. Send this out. Uh, this one we can send across as well. We'll also need it somewhere here in the center, or maybe in the south. It's just a lot of units right there right now, so we can't even we can't get it across right now. Just wait a little bit. Same goes for the garrisons. Uh, did we get any research done? Nope. And it's almost ready. The command and control as well. So let's save up the rest of the 268 points. As for the Italians, they got 169. I think I need 175 to start on the uh, next research which is uh, naval weaponry yeah 175 so that's not much we can do here this is a this was a lame turn unless France surrenders we'll see about that right now with French morale low and the military is soundly defeated the newly appointed Prime Minister Marshal Pétain is willing to sign an armistice should we therefore sign an armistice with Pétain and create Vichy France yes France surrenders Germany plunders 936 points. Having captured northern France, we would now have access to the important naval base of saint Nazaire. This could be a very useful base for launching new naval units, but it will require some investment in order to prepare for use. The estimated cost of refitting the port is 50 points, or 10 points per turn for 5 turns. Would you like to invest in upgrading the port so that we can launch new naval units there? Um, I don't think it's necessary really, but uh, it's only 50 points. We'll upgrade it. Vichy author author authorities in Madagascar accept the armistice. Also Djibouti. And the Third Republic is abolished as Marshal Pétain becomes the head of the Vichy French state. Algeria declares loyalty to Vichy France, and so will Tunis. Yes. Syria declares loyalty to Vichy France. 
fetched West Africa declares loyalty. And neutrality from French Equatorial Africa. Polynesia declares neutrality. Society Islands. Germany annexes Alsace. And long range desert group formed in Siva. That's for the British. Malta hinders supply. US lend lease to the UK begins. Victorious German troops march into Paris. Uh, occupies the Channel Islands as well. And we develop command and control level 2. Italy develops ground attack weapons level 1. That's really nice. Okay. So far, so good. Now the attack on Britain. We have to try something. I would like to do it quickly. The UK, re the UK recognizes the Free French. And Vichy France distances itself from Britain's support for General de Gaulle. The Free French seize power in France Equatorial Africa. The triumphant is seized at Plymouth and given to the Free French Navy. General Leclerc forms Force Francaise Libre. The Free French. Something weird is going on in Egypt. I don't see a lot of um, British troops. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, replenishments. Okay, I see some more British troops now. The usual bombings from Britain. They will use a lot of points. I mean, they do rate four points for me, but replenishing the bombers is costing more. So I can definitely live with this trade-off. As long as we do some damage to the bombers and the fighters, which I'm pretty sure we will. I can't see the actual numbers. So South Britain should be mostly just aircraft at this point. I'm going to quickly station my paratroopers in the Sherbu area. And then we're going to try and take Plymouth by air. Because then we can start transporting troops over. Wuhan is uh, still holding. Jadava has been taken. And we got the uh, usual AT guns back in North Africa. Replenishments. Ooh. Okay. The enemy armor has moved from uh, <laughs> from Egypt all the way down through Sudan to Eritrea. That's interesting. British morale is shaken by France's surrender, and Germany celebrates. Hungary joins the Allies. Destroyers for bases agreement, HMS Montgomery is commissioned. More destroyers, 7th Armoured formed in Egypt. The Gaulle announces on the BBC, France has lost the battle, but France has not lost the war. Yes, you have. That's exactly what you have. Um, did my cruiser survive? Limited resistance is expected in Indochina due to the situation in France. The US Secretary of State has communicated to us the following statement through the American charts affair in Berlin. 
The US government will not recognize any transfer of a geographical region in the Western Hemisphere from one non-American power to another non-American power, and that it would not ascience in any attempt to undertake such transfer. Respect of the Monroe Doctrine and U.S. influence over the Americas may mutually keep the United States out of our European affairs. Yeah, so don't mess with America, basically. The time has come for us to assert ourselves further in the Balkans, to win fame and glory for Italy, lest Germany takes uh, all the glory for itself. If you say yes, then we will deploy two half-strength corps in Albania, and we will declare war on Greece at the end of October. Rushing these forces to Albania and deploying them will cost us 100 points at 50 points a turn for two turns. Would you like to authorize this expenditure and declare war on Greece at the end of this month? Um, yeah, I think so. That's two cores for 50 points. So yeah, it does require us to declare on Greece. Allies send emergency garrison to Crete. And we have a new submarine in Japan. Let's just put it here. Okay, we might as well start in Japan now that we are here. Let's get this battleship out. This is our current navy. Right, in the north, not much will happen. This one can now upgrade. <laughs> Still a lot of stuff going on here. Okay. I need somebody in here. That's that's a priority. So we need to move this guy down. So he can move in there next turn. Because this guy is stuck here. Okay, so let's... Uh, let's take a turn where we... Get everybody back to full strength. Advanced fighters in long range. Okay. I should get some more fire, some more bombers actually. And that means we cannot move in here either. We can do this. This. This, but I probably don't have the movement. Yes, I got it. Ha! Finally, Changsa. That opens up for the movement here as well. Let's go over there. Finally, okay. Let's do this. This. Just stick to the road here. So Nanning is on seven. Five, four, one, really. Ah, that's unlucky. Could have gotten it. Okay. Are the garrisons in place up here? No, this one is going up there. The others are in place. Okay. All right. Where do I want to send this one now, then? We still want it in Shanghai, I think. So we'll leave him and the garrison still ready to go. And do we want to build some more bombers? Can we... Do we have the points for that? No. Tacti tactical bomber is 300. Medium bomber is also 300. Then we'll, we'll need to save up points for that. But they're so essential here in the uh, 
the war in China that I should probably have bought some more in the beginning. Right, that takes us to Abyssinia, where the British 10th Armoured has appeared. That's some pretty serious stuff. And I cannot upgrade down here because the supply is too low. I think I'll just have to hold on for as long as possible. I can upgrade up here maybe. No? Supply is still too low. Okay. Okay, so we'll have to attack um, Yugoslavia soon. We can't even upgrade these. Didn't I get the research done? No? Ah, that might have been logistics, something like that. It wasn't infantry weapons anyway, that's why I can't upgrade anywhere. Uh, so, do we want to start some other upgrades? Ah, oh, was that command and control? No. I haven't even started that one. Let's get that started then. And let's move over here. Yeah, we want to ferry these guys back to uh, Italy to get them uh, replenished. That we need to take the battleship out. Back in. Just do one at a time, I think. Okay. So save up the rest. Getting ready to invade uh, Yugoslavia. So we should actually get the Hungarians readied up. For infantry weapons one and mobility. Same goes for this one and this one. The headquarter should go to eight. Okay. Now here we got twelve hundred points. We need to get the paratroopers ready in Sherbrooke. And the Alpha, or maybe over here. Yeah, we need them over here. And then we need to decide how many troops we need to get across. I think we'll go with all three armor and a um, couple of armies and a couple of corps. And the rest will send back east. And we'll keep the aircraft over here as well. Plus one or two headquarters. At least one we can... F hmm. Maybe maybe two. Alright, so we need to get uh, the armor somewhere where it can cross easily. That's actually Sherbrooke, but uh, yeah, okay. It can also cross from Brest and St. Malo. Can we get them all the way up? Yep, yeah, okay. Which research did I just finish? Command and control level 2. So we'll need advanced fighters still. And ground attack weapons. Those two. I have uh, the ability to start up 125, so neither one will go. Have to wait for another research to finish. Let's just what can I upgrade here? Mobility. Hmm. 
yeah I should get mobility actually at least on the ones that I intend to keep I mean keep I mean uh, use for the attack in England um, we can use these two down here as well is that enough one two three four five six seven eight nine nine units I think it's enough so we'll use these guys here this headquarter upgrade with mobility I wonder if I should upgrade everybody before I move them. That is going to cost a lot. You know, I think we're just going to start moving them over. Well, at least we can give these the infantry weapons. And then we might as well give them mobility now that we upgrade them anyway. It is very costly. Start moving guys west or east, sorry, of course. Like that. I also need some garrisons actually. Yeah, I was not thinking about that. <laughs> uh, do I have garrisons on the way? Let's see. I do not. Okay, let's get some garrisons. How many do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six garrisons in total. Okay, so let's get that bolt. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's all my points. That's all my points. Okay. Okay. The Navy. This one actually survived. So I have to first get vision with the submarine. Oh, it's gone now. Okay. So let's risk this. We can get them all the way back to Oslo. Oh, I just can't reach down here. But okay, so question send. Well, let's take it to Oslo. Whew! Made it. And then this one. I just can't get there. I can almost go there. But it's not secure there. Head back to Bagan with the submarine. I want both of these heavy cruisers to make it back. The rest of the Navy is just poised. Now, Italy, we've already I think we're done for the turn. I've forgotten already. Did we move this? Yeah, okay. So it's the end of the turn here. 
Chinese morale suffers from the loss of Changsha. Italian national morale increases as Italy, Italy declares one Greece. Syria leans towards the Axis. And Romania joins the Axis alliance. Nice. Axis military activity hinders Allied supply in Crete. And the ferry swordfish raid La Regia Marina in Toronto. Three damage. Franklin D. Roosevelt is re-elected with 55% of the vote. Italy develops long-range aircraft level 1. And we're still paying for the preparation for Greece. British and free French units fail to capture Dakar. US sends French aircraft orders to Canada and the UK. The US delivers aircraft to Manchester. And the US delivers aircraft to St. John's in Newfoundland. Now the British armor is moving back to Khartoum. Looks like my garrison scared them off. So these guys are pre pretty much going to stay in these positions until the fall of Cairo and then we can send some help down there. Well the fall of Suez to be more exact. Cairo and Suez. No surprise with this anti tank attack. Here comes the Greeks. Enemy contact, this is the South Africans. And they're not upgraded either. The 7th Armoured was, or the, the Armoured Formation, the UK. But the South Africans are not upgraded. Partisan activity in China, I have that pretty much under control. Okay. So I think we'll just take one more turn here. It's not one hour yet. We got another submarine, German. Put it there. So now the uh, Navy is actually looking pretty good. We get this one back to a port. Let's get this destroyer out here. The Deutschland made it back. Now for the others. Let's get the um, submarine out again to scout. So we can see any enemy units. No. Okay, let's try and send this guy to Christian Sand. He made it, and move these guys back to Bergen. So next turn we can get both of them back into safety. Let's get this destroyer out as well. Alrighty. So... We need to get these guys somewhere over here. Wonder, can they preparate, preparate from this area? Yes, prepare. But they are in supply 6 in Sherbrooke. So this sh should be okay as well. So we need them to prepare as well. And then we need good weather. As soon as we have good weather, we can start uh, moving across. 
Get these guys to Brest. And the Havre. Back to full strength, get back to full strength. We also need a headquarter to be able to travel across right away. Move it up there. Now we need to get the bombers as close as possible to the shore. The fighter is not that important. The rest are moving this way. Okay, let's get the Hungarians up to full strength. There we go. Let's get some Germans down here as well. We can just use the armies. Should be fine. The rest will move somewhere up here. Position some around Prague. Get these guys to full strength. Okay, something like this. As for the Italians, we need to get this guy back to full strength. Ship him back across. And they just need to defend Tirana if possible. So we will be ready to move into Yugoslavia next turn. We also have the Romanians. Um, they should also upgrade. Am I out of points? Yes, okay, fair enough. German points right now but we're done so that's fine the Italians will not do anything here uh, what about here no here no counterattack here yes we got the South African army Nice, sniped it. So that's actually two enemy uh, cores that we have destroyed. That's really good. Good start in Abyssinia, I would say. Back to Japan. These guys are at seven, five, four, one again. Still survives. Okay, so up here, we can finally move in here. These guys must be well dug in. So we'll lose that up a little bit. I 
and move the next guys up. Hmm, okay, we can go there and then go there. So, next target is Sheng Wang down here. Okay, we can almost get it. Let's try this. I need one more. Okay, can these guys move back? Yes, okay. There we go. Hang Wang taken. Move up here. So we finally have some momentum in this in this south central. They don't seem to have much left. And then we can swing up. We need to get these guys back to six. And then we still have the Cheng Chao attack going on here. This is across a river. But it looks promising. This is only one point though. Why is this so weak compared to the others? Yeah, I will need the uh, bombers before I can take this position. And then we'll just replenish it back up. And we can now bring in another army. The submarine here is ready to go. We can send it out. Uh, we don't really have that many places to go though. Let's just send it down here. There's nothing to see. The garrisons, I will not send them across yet, but they will soon have to go in. Maybe next turn. And we got 500 points research wise. We got command and control. No, this is Germany. Uh, we can only do 100. So we're going to have to wait for. We can see infantry warfare will uh, finish next turn. So that will be done. And then we can start up some something else. We have 500 points though, so we might want to buy something. We might want to get more uh, garrisons. We can buy the uh, three Nanjing garrisons straight off the bat. Let's do that. We get the core as well, then we're, we're done. And we bought everything from Nanjing. Alright, and that's it for the turn. So next time I'll either go for this hex here to finally relieve Wuhan or this hex here. One of those two. It looks like the Chinese are running out of troops here in the south. We can go take Kualin and Nanning and then we'll head, head uh, into the central area of Kui Chao here. Chongqing is the capital. They have a lot of units in the center, so it will take a, a time, take some time to break them down here. Meanwhile, over here, we will uh, prepare these guys next turn, and then the turn after that, we can land if the weather permits. But first, let's get the AI turn done. French Pacific colonies join the Free French. Destroyers for Bases Agreement, HMS Castleton commissioned. Yeah, they have a lot of destroyers. Supplies, of course, hindered. 
in both places in Africa. Germany loves anti-tank weapons, level 1. And spying and intelligence, level 1. And production technology, level 2. And industrial technology, level 1. I didn't save up any points. So hopefully I have enough points next time to get some more research going. Japan develops infantry warfare level 1, which is nice. And also aerial warfare level 1. And the Italians are still paying for Greece for one more turn. Alright, AI. British are shifting some units around. So far the weather is nice. I need to get some submarines into the English Channel so I can scout for enemy vessels as I transport my troops across. Here comes the Greeks, but they're not strong enough to dislodge me in Tirana. Attacks in Wuhan, still not working out for them. They did replenish the uh, other Hex, and also this one. Everything is replenished. More Greek armies. I think that's pretty much it. Some partisan activity, we should have that under control. Suez Canal limits supplies, of course. And that's pretty much it. See if there are any events popping up. Cop spotted an Impal. Winning the war. Recommendation build up forces in the east ready to invade USSR, ideally invading when the USSR is close to 90% mobilization and the weather is good. Thank you. We have the garrisons. Uh, which I'm going to use for Western Europe. So I'll just place them over here somewhere. And then there's also a submarine, the U114, which we'll just deploy somewhere around here. The weather is good, so we could deploy the paratroopers into Plymouth. I need to do some scouting with my planes and then we'll see if there is a suitable place to land so we can get this invasion done quickly. That'll be for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you now. Bye-bye.